So I've been thinking a lot about time lately and the expression that time heals all wounds. Well, time without action heals nothing. And that's what I'm talking about today. I'm Leslie Dorries, your marriage coach, creator of the Hero Husband Project and owner of Foundations Coaching. And, you know, it was interesting because, let me see here, let me find it, 262,080 hours ago tomorrow, February 24th, is going to be how long my son, my oldest child, has been on the planet. And um, when you put it in 168 hours per week, which is all any of us get, it really stands out. Um, my son was put on the planet, I swear, to teach me all kinds of lessons, and time being one of them. I mean, he went from being 19 inches long to now he's six foot two. Um, he went from being completely dependent on me to being a self-sufficient young man. And I have been along for the ride. And you've been along for the ride in your relationships as well. You give, you take, you learn, and that's really what I want you to take away from time. Because time just passes. We're all given 168 hours a week, and how you spend that time reveals what your priorities are. I had a client a few years ago who said to me, my marriage is important to me, but, and in my head I was thinking, now you're gonna tell me why that's not a true statement. People say that their marriages are important, but then they actually don't spend much time with their partner. And if you're not spending time with your partner, your marriage is going to wither and die on the vine. And a lot of people don't spend time with their partners because they have unresolved issues, they've been hurt, they're angry, they're distracted by other things, but that, that relationship isn't going to stay. And with many of my clients, a lot of the men that I work with, they think things are okay. You know, they're not great. They'd like them to be better, but eh, let's not rock the boat until their wives ask them for a divorce. And then it's all hands on deck, hair on fire, panic. And usually by that time, it's too late because they haven't been putting in the time and attention. Now, I'm not saying that the time and attention you put into your marriage is just appeasing the goddess, happy wife, happy life, doing whatever she says. That sets up a rebellion. That sets up all kinds of negative interaction because you're not being included. And you need to be included. You are an active participant. Um, I'm not the same person that I was 30 years ago when my son was born. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot from him. I've learned a lot from my daughter. I've learned a lot from my husband. I've learned a lot from my clients. I've learned a lot from my friends. It's what you do in that time that makes a difference. Letting time pass is not going to get you where you want to be. In you know the, the field of dreams, if you build it, they will come does not work. You actually have to actively participate. And so that's my challenge to you, is what are you doing with your time? What could you learn in those 200,000 plus hours? What could you learn in the next two? It's, it's, I get it. I have long said that I channel my inner Scarlett O'Hara. I'll think about it tomorrow. After all, tomorrow is another day. But if you look at a calendar, someday never appears on that calendar. I'll deal with it someday. I'll have this conversation, this difficult conversation with my wife someday. I'll address this someday. There is no calendar where someday appears. Okay? If you want something to change, you have to take action. Now, I'm not suggesting you take willy-nilly action because that will just send you from the frying pan into the fire. But learning the positive actions to take to get you to the goal that you want. And by the way, if that's 
a goal that you have for your marriage to make it better and to there's lots of places that you can learn this information one of them is from me and I invite you to get in touch but you can read books you can read blogs you can listen to podcasts but even then that's passive information if you are not taking specific action in relation to that information it's basically a waste of your time so that's my challenge is one to be honest about the state of your relationship and if you want it to be different better then what action are you going to start to take today so I'd love to hear your feedback I would love for you to subscribe to the channel I would love for you to share this video with those people who you think might benefit from it um, you can contact me through email leslie at foundationscoachingnc.com that's l-e-s-l-i thanks mom for not putting any on the end of my name and you can i am you can put a message down in the comments below you can direct message me but here's the thing the longer you wait the more time is going to pass and the more challenging it is going to be to do something different. Now, you've got this, but if you don't, I can help. So get in touch, and until next week, stay loving.